to your village. It's Nora with Aegis Energy, and this is our beginner balance class. So we're going to start seated in a chair, feet comfortably in front of us, pointing straight, sitting nice and tall in a comfortable seated position. And we're just going to focus on activating our core. Activating the core is really important as we balance because it helps with our stability and support. So we're going to try something new. We're going to focus on abdominal breathing. And so with this type of breathing, we're going to be activating our core muscles. And so we're going to be waking them up and getting them functioning before we get to our standing moves. So here, as you inhale, when we typically inhale, our chest rises as our lungs expand. So for this exercise, I want you to try and keep your chest neutral. And as you inhale, you think about your stomach inflating outwards like a balloon. And then as you exhale, draw that belly button back into your spine. You can put your stomachs on your, or your stomach. You can put your hands on your stomach to kind of get the feeling of what the sensation feels like. So as you inhale, inhale through your nose. And you'll feel your stomach expand outwards like a balloon. And then you're going to exhale through your mouth. That balloon deflating, drawing the belly button back towards the spine. Again, inhale. Inhaling as far as you can, keeping the chest neutral. Exhale, drawing that belly button in. Good, let's keep this going. Going at whatever pace is comfortable for you. Drawing in the belly button, bracing the muscles. This is often a challenging exercise for some because it's very rarely practiced. It's great for strengthening our core. Good, let's go five more reps. Imagining that balloon inflating and deflating. Think 
about how you shift your weight. You can add in a natural arm swing if that's comfortable for you. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. All right, bringing the feet together, same idea, but stepping backwards. So stepping back with our right foot, toe, heel, shifting our weight backwards, bringing it together. We obviously don't walk backwards, but if we stumble and or fall, what's the first thing we do? We try and step back to catch ourselves, right? So nice and easy. Let's go for three. Let's go for two. Let's go for one. Bringing the feet together. Other side. Same thing. Left foot goes toe heel. Small or wide stance. Whatever's comfortable for you. Awesome. 
worked out the same thing again. Shifting our weight over to the other side, activating that leg, raising up our opposite leg, flexing the foot, toes up to the sky, activating our core, using our chair for support as we need it. Finding our focal point, setting our gaze upon it. Nice deep breaths. You can challenge yourself further by going hands free if you choose. You don't have to. Okay, wherever you are, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Shake it out. Awesome job. One more time. Other side. Shifting our weight over to the opposite side. Activating that leg. Raising up our opposite leg. Engaging our core. Nice deep breaths. Going hands free or using our chair for support if we need it. If you fall out of it, that's okay. Just reset. Okay. Keep that focal point. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release, shake it out. One side might be a little bit more off balance than the other. That's okay. Okay, moving into our next exercise, we're going to go into a tandem stance here. So let's start with a semi tandem stance. You're going to take that right foot forward, heel slightly in front of the left toes. About two to five inches between the left toes and the right heel. Weight is equally distributed between both feet, slight bend in the knees. You can choose to stay here if this is challenging. If you want to further challenge yourself, you can take the right heel, moving it more in line with your left toes. So really narrowing that base of the support. A full tandem stance will be bringing that right heel directly in front of the left toes. So here we're narrowing that base of support, using our chair for support if we need it. Embracing the core. If this is feeling easy for you, you can challenge yourself by closing your eyes. Good, making sure that weight is equally distributed. Hold for five, four, three, two. One, release. Good job. Other side. So stepping forward with that left foot. Coming into a semi-tandem semi stance if you choose. Keeping about two to five inches between the foot and the heel. Or taking a full tandem stance. Taking that left heel directly in front of the right toes. Narrowing our base of support completely. Legs are activated. Core is activated. Finding that focal point. Feet are pointed straight. Upper body is relaxed and calm. Going hands free or using our chair for support as we need it. Closing our eyes for a further challenge if you choose.
you fall out of it, that's okay. Just reset. We're going to hold this a little bit longer. Remember your breathing. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right, good job. Last time, left side, taking that left foot forward into a semi or full tandem stance. Keeping both feet pointed straight ahead. Activation in the core, activation in the legs. Using our chair for support as needed. Making sure our weight is equally distributed between both feet. Challenging yourself further by closing your eyes if you choose, wherever you are. Holding this a little bit longer. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Okay. All right, we're going to face our chair this time. We're going to go into a good old fashioned calf raise. So rising up on our toes as high as we can and then slowly lowering down, controlling our weight. Rising up on the toes. Lowering down, rise up, lower, rise up. And let's go five more reps. Last one. 
Awesome job. Shake it out. Step it back with that left leg. Bending in that right leg. Shoulders relaxed back and down away from the ears. Here, let's go for a deeper stretch. If you'd like, you can bend that back leg slightly. Heel pulling towards the ground. Here, we'll, we're targeting the deeper muscles of the calf. You can feel that stretch all the way down to your ankle and Achilles tendon area. Nice deep breath. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Straightening that leg, coming back together. Other side, stepping back with the right leg. Right leg is straight to start out. Bend. There's a slight bend in the left knee. Okay, let's go for a deeper stretch by bending that right knee slightly. Heel pulling towards the ground, getting a nice stretch. And the deeper muscles of the calf, getting a nice stretch in our Achilles tendon and ankle. Flex. Point and flex. Point. Flex. Let's go for five. Four. Three. 
four, three, two, one. Awesome job, relaxing that leg. Other side, foot is flexed, and point, flex, point. Good, keep it going, we go for five, four, three, two, one, relax, lifting up the right leg again, ankle circles, going clockwise first, slow and control, let's go for five, four, three, two, one, counterclockwise this time. Opposite direction. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Other leg. Flexing the foot counterclockwise this time. Drawing a circle with our foot. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Clockwise this time, opposite direction. Okay, let's go for three, two, one. Release, relax, sitting nice and tall. Let's take a big deep inhale here. Hands overhead. Exhale one more time. Inhale. Hands overhead. Exhale. All right, everybody. That's all I have today for our beginner balance class. My name is Nora with Aegis Energy. Thanks so much for joining me.